Hi there, and welcome to this demonstration video of the MVT battery and electrical system tester. In this video, we will show you how to set up the MVT, go through the user interface, and how to perform a battery test. If you are using the MVT for the first time, you need to go through a quick setup process. Start by selecting some of your preferred settings, like the language, temperature unit, and if you want the option to fill in a FIN number or work order. Take note that these settings can be changed at all times. Once you are done, the MVT will scan for available Wi-Fi networks close to you. When connected to a network, you gain the function to send your test results via email, get over-the-air updates and wirelessly send your test data. In my case, I have found the perfect network and I couldn't agree more. When you established a successful connection, the MVT will tell you and you can see the Wi-Fi icon active on the top right side of the screen. If you are not connected to a Wi-Fi network, the Wi-Fi symbol will be crossed out. After the Wi-Fi setting, you can select your date and time and preferred format. Last but not least, you can fill in your shop settings. This information will be shown when you email or print the results. The MVT has now been set up and is ready for use. We are now looking at the main menu. On the left side, you can see the voltage of the battery that you are connected to. And then on the side, there are several options you can choose from. There's the in-vehicle test if you want to perform a test on a battery that is still connected to a vehicle. An out-of-vehicle test when the battery is not connected to a vehicle. Then there is the history option where you can find back all the previous test results. You have an option to update the MVT and in the settings you can see all the information about your MVT. You can change all the settings of the tool and if it's needed you can do a factory reset. But now let's perform a test on the battery. This battery is connected to a vehicle, so in this case we select an in-vehicle test. And there we go, we already have a result. Notice that we got a result without filling in any information about the battery. This is one of the amazing features of the MVT called Quick Decision. There is a separate video fully dedicated to this feature on our channel right now if you want to know more about this. There will be a link at the top right screen at the end of the video. The quick decision feature is fantastic and it works in many preventative maintenance scenarios. In other cases it is possible that you will need to fill in the information manually. Once you have your results, you can now email or print the results if you have the version with an integrated printer. And after a successful test, you're also able to perform a system test if needed. This concludes the demonstration video of the MVT. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us through our webpage. We hope this video was useful. See you on the next one. Medtronics. We will get you there.